Hello my friends, today we are going to sweet potato farms in several US states to see how the farmers here harvest millions of tons of sweet potatoes. According to the statistics of the United States Department of Agriculture in 2021, the country's sweet potato production is more than 1.7 million tons and the revenue generated is $726 million of which the states with the largest acreage and production of sweet potatoes are North Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana, California, and Texas. The first place we will visit in this video is a sweet potato farm in the state of Arkansas. At the end of September every year, Thousands of workers flock to sweet potato farms in Arkansas to work. These workers will be divided into groups to harvest sweet potato. Each group has 10 to 12 people. Their task is to pick up thousands of sweet potatoes and put them in wooden crates placed on the tractor. In 2021, the area planted to sweet potatoes in Arkansas is about 3,750 acres, and the yield was about 149,000 tons. The average salary these workers receive is about nine to $13 per hour. This is an ongoing harvest on a sweet potato farm in the state of North Carolina which is considered the sweet potato capital of the United States. Every year, about 5,300 workers flock to sweet potato farms in North Carolina to harvest this tuba. Millions of sweet potatoes will be picked up and dumped into wooden crates before being placed on trucks. According to statistics in 2021, the sweet potato growing area in North Carolina is 46,000 acres and the yield is 771,000 tons, accounting for 43% of the country's sweet potato production. Sweet potatoes from North Carolina are also rated as having the best taste in the United States. Here's what's happening at a sweet potato farm in Mississippi. Unlike the farms in North Carolina, most sweet potato farms in Mississippi use this machine to harvest sweet potatoes, a harvesting machine manufactured by the Lockwood brand. The sweet potatoes here will also be packed into wooden crates and then the trucks will come before delivering them to the factory for packaging. Currently, Mississippi ranks third in the United States in terms of sweet potato production with an output of about 276,000 tons. The next place we will visit is a sweet potato farm in Merced County, California. Millions of sweet potatoes will be dug out of the ground and the job of these workers is to separate the sweet potatoes from the vines and put them in plastic containers. In 2021, California has 22,000 acres of farmland used to grow sweet potatoes and the yields are usually about 257,000 tons. Here's what's happening at a sweet potato packing plant in California. Next, we will go to another sweet potato farm in Sampson County, North Carolina. Between September and October each year, about 230 workers will be hired to harvest sweet potatoes at this farm. Most of the workers are immigrants from Guatemala and Mexico. Harvesters here are paid according to the number of sweet potato crates they fill. Every time they fill a bucket, they get a chip. At the end of the day, 
they receive the amount corresponding to that number of chips. On average, the amount they receive per day is about $70. This is the process of harvesting sweet potatoes on a farm in Louisiana. Currently, Louisiana has about 19,000 acres of farmland used for sweet potato production with an annual output of 211,000 tons, accounting for 18% of the country's production. These workers will separate the sweet potato from the vines and then the sweet potatoes will be transferred to the truck through a conveyor system. In the next part of the video, we will visit some vegetable farms in the United States to see how thousands of tons of vegetables are harvested. Here's what's happening at a sweet corn farm in Florida. There are about 25 workers who will be divided into a group and follow this harvesting machine. Thousands of ears of corn will be picked and packed right here before being shipped to the stores. Currently, Florida has about 26,000 acres of land used for sweet corn production, which is also the largest sweet corn producing state in the United States. The annual sweet corn production in the state is about 220,000 tons, and the yield is about $147 million. This is the ongoing harvesting process on a tomato farm in Ohio. Millions of tomatoes will be picked by these workers and poured into the bin of this tractor. After each carton of tomatoes is harvested, these workers will be marked on their live scoreboard, and at the end of the day, they will receive a paycheck. The annual tomato production in Ohio is about 95,000 tons with more than 6,000 acres of farmland used to cultivate this fruit. This is what is happening on a potato farm in Colorado. Millions of potatoes will be dug out of the ground. Next, these workers will pick them up and put them in bags before loading them onto trucks. In 2021, potato production in Colorado is 1.1 million tons. Later in the video, we will visit soybean farms in the United States to see how the farmers here cultivate and harvest thousands of tons of soybeans. Late April or early May is the time when farmers in the United States begin the process of tilling and sowing soybeans. According to statistics released in 2021, the total area of soybean cultivation in the United States is 91 million hectares. These seeding machines will sow about 130,000 seeds per acre.
Essentially, soybeans are a low maintenance crop. The time from planting to harvesting soybeans lasts about 85 days. This machine is responsible for spraying a probiotic to protect the soybean plants from pests such as leafworms or beetles. After about three weeks from seeding, the farmers here will start to dig the soil and provide organic fertilizer throughout the field. After more than two months from seeding, these soybean plants are ready to be harvested. Hundreds of modern farming machines will be delivered to the US soybean fields to start a new harvest. Currently, the United States and Brazil are the two largest soybean producing countries in the world. The US soybean production in 2021 was 135 million tonnes. In the United States, up to 78% of soybeans are used for animal feed, with poultry being the largest consumer of soybeans. In addition, the United States also exports about 45 million tonnes of soybeans per year, with an export value of about 25.7 billion dollars. Next, we will take a look at the soybean water production process at the factory. Do you often drink soy milk? How do you feel about the process of cultivating and harvesting soybeans in this video? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.